so good together Think Bonnie and Clyde, yeah, that kind of vibe A love that couldn't last forever Explosive right, a dynamite But now my heart's so heavy You moved on with your life and left me out I thought that we would last forever Think Bonnie and Clyde Baby, now I'm here in the flashing lights Drowning out my sorrows Looking for someone in the neon Coming on. This is the, the Nang Cancer Hospital uh, um, grounds. It's actually uh, not too bad of a place. It's really nice. Uh, you know, uh, a lot of people come outside and sit down to relax and you know enjoy the sunny day when it's uh, when we do have it. Right now, it's a we're in uh, we're now winter here in Da Nang. It's uh, when I say winter, it's it's windy, it's rainy, and the weather at night drops to about maybe. Uh, 45 degrees sometimes lower 
you know and lots of storms in and out you know um, nothing too disastrous just yet but it can get pretty bad um, but yeah um, today we're having um, a charity feeding here at the Danang at the Danang Cancer Hospital for about 700 to about 800 people and it's a great event it's a great you know uh, it's 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 awesome to give back to um, to society and Common Waters does a great job in giving back to society when it comes to doing all they can do and and in terms of giving back <laughs> okay uh, biggest fuba of my life right well not probably not the biggest fuba but basically you know made a mistake thinking that it was I was actually attending a charity today <laughs> Uh, I got the message about the charity and I read it maybe a couple times. Well, the first time I read it was in the morning when I, as soon as I woke up, it was like the first thing I read on my, on, my, uh, on my messages. Sometimes it's not good to read messages as soon as you wake up because your mind is not all there, you know what I mean? You're kind of like in the moment, you're still in between sleep and up. So I'm thinking that this charity is actually today at the Danang Cancer Hospital, which, but it's actually tomorrow. Today is the 17th. Of December tomorrow is the 18th so why am I here today is because I didn't read the information correctly Fuba, right so I just um, spent a 30 minute trip coming down here to spend another 30 minute trip going back to my house but you know what it's all in good fun at least I showed up uh, I may not be able to make it tomorrow but I will try to make it tomorrow I have to actually teach a class tomorrow yes I am an English teacher here as well and for all of those who then think that you, uh, um, I'm not really big on the ESL teaching stuff and, and giving out information because there's a lot of people that give out information on the teaching in Vietnam. Do you need a degree to teach in Vietnam? No. It depends on, it depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for a, um, a private school, yes, I mean the, the, the big name, big name English teaching centers, yes. You're gonna need all your paper, you're gonna need all your documents, right? But if you're just teaching at a local, probably mom and pop, but mostly local, no. You just need your personality and you just need your uh, uh, um, skills to deal with kids and deal with a lot of uh, stress. Well, not really stress, deal with um, noisy kids. <laughs> if you can't put up with, with, with noisy kids, uh, this teaching game is not for you here in Vietnam. It's not like in America where the kids are orderly and they're all very, um, they walk into class and they sit there. You walk into class, it's literally a freaking zoo, a riot fest. Uh, kids are screaming, they're playing, they're pulling each other, they're fighting, they're struggling, they, they're moving desks around, all that stuff. You gotta be like, Yung Lai, Yung Lai, Yung Lai, Yung Lai. What you mean? Yung Lai actually means stop. Yung Lai means stop, 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 you know? You know, uh, 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 um, yes. Yeah, so it's definitely a kangaroo show. Um, it's good. It's it's rewarding and it's meaningful. But you got to deal with a lot of stuff. I got a buddy down in Saigon, uh, White Monkey Syndicate. Check him out, White Monkey Syndicate down in Saigon, and he does. He he tells you he actually teaches, and he basically um, give you all the nits, uh, all the ins and outs about what what it's like to teach here. He's not a bullshitter. He's from New York, you know, Italian dude, uh, 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 um, world traveler. So he's been around the block a, a number of times, at a few times, a number of times. So he could definitely tell you what's up on the teaching game here. So, like I said, um, don't need a um, don't need a teaching degree. Uh, all you need is just your wits about yourself, and you need um, some uh, uh, common sense. You need to be able to deal with kids, especially noisy kids. You need to deal with uh, kids who don't speak English, which is almost 99.9%. .9%. So you have about a 1% <laughs> chance that they understand English to some degree. So you gotta, you gotta, you're gonna deal with a lot of, hello, what's your name? Where are you from? Uh, type of stuff. So that, that's basically it. And, and it's very, very basic. But if you have a good personality, and like I said, again, personality, personality, perspective, understanding that they don't really understand how to use the English language a lot of it is came from the fact that they learned it from a book and speaking English and written English are two different things it literally is two different things you cannot 
speak the way you write and you cannot write the way you speak that, but they don't understand that here in Asia so a lot of people tend to speak the way they write and it sounds weird so that's where American English or teaching English comes in in a sense so 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 just be mindful of that and again do not need a uh, teaching degree if you're gonna be teaching at a local school um, or at a um, mom and pop or maybe some of some of the lower end I say low end some of the smaller English English centers they don't really care for it they just need you know you just need a perspective bro that's it Always find your way to higher ground May you always keep your head held up high Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Just the sight of you when I'm at my weakest point Makes a world of difference, oh, you make me strong Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Order in a cup of love Feel it rising up and above You will always keep my heart and soul strong your seeds and watch them grow the light will always know where to go you will always keep my heart and soul strong you're the first thing in the morning and the last Baby, you're my future and you are my past Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Order in a cup of love Feel it rising up and above You will always keep my heart and soul strong your seeds and watch them grow the light will always know where to go you will always keep my heart and soul strong